What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you some more Pillars of Eternity and soon to be avowed lore. And today we are talking about Andra. Now, Andra is one of the gods, and I should say right at the start of this video, there's going to be some spoilers for both of the games for the people who still haven't played them or just haven't done everything. Now, keep that in mind, I guess. So Andra is the goddess of the sea, the moon, forgotten places, forgotten things, loss, mourning, and relentlessness. Now, Andra's clergy largely takes the form of the gift bearers, as they are called. Basically, what the gift bearers will do is they'll be paid a small amount of money to take objects or things to the sea and throw them away never to be seen again, hence the lost part of Andra's worship. Now, by the Huana, she is worshipped in other places because they rule the Deadfire Archipelago, at least as of the second game, and are thus surrounded by water. Now, they use that to practice water shaping because Andra granted the Hoana of old the ability to literally manipulate water, which is how they've defended their archipelago despite not being the most technologically advanced people in the world. Now, Andra herself is said to be in love with the moon and that when the seas are particularly rough and things like that, it's because Andra is making advances towards the moon. Now, this is because in actuality, though it's kind of gotten muddled through the passing down of time, that Andra once pulled one of the moons out of the sky and chucked it at Old Ingwith, or at least the Deadfire Archipelago area, as well as the Deerwood, basically where both the games take place, in an attempt to destroy the ruins of the Ingwithans, which is the society that apotheosed themselves into gods. Now, I talked about this in my Abaddon video quite a bit, but one of the other gods, Abaddon, took issue with this, as they were the god of preservation. And Abaddon forged a hammer to throw at the moon before it could destroy the ruins, or at least soon to be ruins anyway. However, this hammer, while breaking up most of the moon, didn't destroy all of it. So Abaddon, using his titan body, which I also have a video about, threw himself in front of it, and the moon struck and killed him, or at least his titan, and it took him a long time to recover from this. This entire event between Andra and Abaddon is the reason gods wound up abandoning their titans and why they don't use them anymore. Now, while Andra really did believe in what she was trying to do in destroying the ruins of Ingwith, Abaddon's sacrifice in this way moved her very much. Andra is like low-key in love with Abaddon. However, he was damaged by this assault, despite, you know, living through it because he's a god. It sort of damaged his memory and kind of affected what he was the god of. Now, he wound up making a metal body to use as an avatar in the meantime. However, the damage was done. But fearful of what would happen if Abaddon ever remembered, Andra took over his servants, the Eyeless which basically just helped Abaddon forge things. But they were each made with a small piece of his soul, and if they reconnect with Abaddon, they can return what was lost with his memories. Now, because of this, Abaddon and Andra have zero contact with each other up until this point in the game, the first game, that is. And that's where we see her the most. Now, in the second game, she is present, of course, as the Hoana in the Deadfire Archipelago, where that game takes place, of course, Worshipper and she is known there as Ingati. But the gods themselves aren't super involved in like the actual gameplay of either of these games. But in the second game, you can actually talk with Andra semi-regularly by furthering your relationship with Tekehu, who is a marine godlike, that is to say a child of sorts of Andra's. And she is very interested in what happens to Tekehu, and she will regularly talk to you about him. Moreover, in the second game, Andra is one of the gods that attacks Aeothis after the events at the Ashen Maw by throwing tsunamis at the Audra statue that Aeothis is inhabiting, of course. And again, as she is worshipped there, she is mentioned all throughout the archipelago. So guys, that is pretty much all we know of Andra in the Pillars of Eternity universe, at least currently. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. But regardless of any of that, truly just thank you so much for watching. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.